What companies might Twitter be targeting, Ari? I mean, are they going after Snapchat here? Well, think about it as any service that's trying to offer users a way to communicate with their friends via, via message or photo. So Snapchat is an obvious one, but also Facebook, Instagram. Hey, this is really, you know, we've been saying it all along. For Twitter to work as a big business, it has to increase engagement. It has to keep people on the service for longer, coming back more frequently. That's the way that they're able to monetize via ads and any other service that they may add on. So, you know, this is basically a way of saying, if you're using another service to snap photos and send them to a friend, you don't need to do that anymore. We can do it for you. Now, we've all had direct message fails, and they're, they're truly horrible. You call them DM fails. I'm just imagining a DM fail with a photo in it. That's something that you definitely wouldn't want. I mean, you know, how does this really put, which is why Snapchat is appealing to a lot of people, because the photos disappear. How does this offering compare to what Snapchat already offers and what Facebook already offers? Well, the rule, Emily, is if you don't want to have a DM fail, then don't DM at all. Uh, yes, I've learned that. <laughs> um, it, the big thing for Snapchat uh, and, and you know, the, the technology, the novel technology behind it is the disappearing message, right? And, and so you know, the, what sort of IP they have behind that, I don't really know. You know it's, a, it's still a small company. It's only 30 people. Um, it, it doesn't appear that Twitter is going after that kind of user. So if really what you want is for the message to disappear 10 seconds after you send it, Snapchat is probably still your service. Um, it seems to me that what Twitter is saying is that that's a very niche product. Um, really what people are much more interested in is the ability to um, you know, shoot something, share it with their friends, share it with someone in particular. And since you're already using Twitter, uh, this is a great way to do that. There's also, of course, WhatsApp, Message Me. It certainly seems like mobile messaging is the hot battlefield right now. How do you see this evolving? Where is this going? Well, the really interesting story uh, as it pertains to messaging is what does it mean for all the carriers who have made, had huge businesses uh, from charging people for SMS text messages for years? Uh, frankly, you don't need that anymore. There are so many over-the-top ways. Uh, the competition is over-the-top now. How do you, you know, using the Internet and using, um, using Wi-Fi, how are you able to send messages to people? You, know, you, you have 10 different ways available to you on your phone right now. Um, how do you make money from that is the question for those 10. Um, and then for the carriers, it's what do we do to make up for the fact that we've just lost this billions of dollars in SMS revenue?